All right, for sanity, I put the i9 on the left this time and the i7 on the right. Yeah, just want to make sure. All right, let's do it. You excited? Do you think it's going to work? I think it's going to be the same. All right, joke's on you. I got different plans. All right, it's, it's still close. Okay, they both loaded about the same, so it's still so far the same, but I wanna make sure. I don't know if you're seeing this, but this one's 81 degrees and this one's 88.5. But everyone said that the i9 was hotter than the i i7. All right, look, look, I'm just coming in here because I'm a bit confused. Everyone's been saying that the i9 runs hotter than the i7. This i9 is going right now at 80 degrees centigrade. And this i7 is going at 89 degrees centigrade. I oh, look, the i7 is catching up. So this one's at 54% and now this one's at 53%. It's like rather neck on neck race, man. Can't believe you're not watching this race. I feel like I'm watching a football match. So the i7 just finished this bit, yeah. and this bit is just over there on the i9, oh, so it's not that much far yeah. away. So look, that bump there is what the i7 just did yeah. just there. So it, this, the, the i9 is that much far ahead. Yeah. So it's 8-7%. You know, I forgot already. Oh, it's finished! Okay, 27 and 41 seconds. So that means it did it in 24 minutes and 41 seconds. Let's see what the other one is. 27 and 41, let's just see. Yeah, let's see. So we need to, this one still needs to do all this hump. So right now this one's on this bit. No, no, but we want to see how much by. Guys, results are in. Running for a second time. We swapped over the ports and the i7 was now one minute and 11 seconds. Yes, 12 seconds. 12, 12 seconds slower. All right. I think it's a sign. Can you just keep the i9? So I have a feeling that the results are conclusive because I was scared. I was like thinking maybe I did something wrong. No, I think you just need to stop like, thinking about it so much. Like, no, I've got more tests. Oh. Mm. All right, on my left, we've got the i7, and on my right, we got the i9. Wi Fi is turned off, I've restarted them from scratch, and basically, I'm running this thing called Prime 95, the non AVX version, which uses pure CPU. So as you can see, both fans are spinning up, going really fast. Interestingly, the i7, it used about 10 more watts more power at the beginning, and it hit a faster speed, 3.2, for the, for the beginning part of the portion, whereas this guy, he just shot up to 3 gigahertz and used 10 less watts. And this guy's fans, he's spinning 100 RPMs faster than this guy. So I don't know if that's just an anomaly, or it's probably just how these processes work. This one just demands a bit more turbo at the beginning to get the job going right now it's been a couple of minutes and they're both running you can see this one it's going 3.1 gigahertz it's using up 40 watts or 40 43 watts this one on my right is still flatlining at 3 gigahertz and it's using 38 watts so one's using 43 watts and one's using 38 watts it's a 5 watt differential this one's using 5 less watts but it's going at 3 gigahertz locked in, whereas this one, if you look at it right now, it's using 3 gigahertz as well. So this one's constantly waving, or actually, it's, uh, it's trying to go fast, and it gets slowed down, fast like that. So I'm trying to find out the differences. This test is interesting because it just mixes everything up. As you can see, the temperature over here is using... 88.3 over on my right we're using 89.3 it could just be it could just be air circulation if you look at this laptop over here look at the positioning you'll find that it's completely empty there's nothing going on here and the underneath side it's not warm the table's not warm whereas on this side because I've been using this laptop all day long the underside of the table is slightly warmer and obviously it's a bit more restricted 
for airflow because there's a monitor there. So it could just come down to airflow. I'm not doing this test again. I've had enough. Don't even know why I'm recording this video. Right now that this one's going 3 gigahertz. This one's actually going 3 gigahertz as well. 39 watts power, 36 watts power. So this one's using 3 gigahertz and 36. Oh look at this, look at this jump. This is just a massive jump. This one just shot up to 3.4. Look at that, and it just sucked out 50 watts out of the blue. Just a quick little jump. This one's going to do it as well, but this one got to 43, did another jump, but it's still going at 3 gigahertz. Is this one 3 gigahertz? 3 gigahertz. So both of these machines just tried. That was exciting, actually. It's like a race, isn't it? And now, interestingly enough, this i9 is hitting 3.1 gigahertz. So before it was flatlining at 3 gigahertz for like a good... Five minutes, after five minutes it's hit 3.1 gigahertz and it's now drawing 44 watts of power. Whereas this guy over here, he's hitting 3.15 gigahertz and he's drawing 48 watts of power. Now, this guy also has a four terabyte hard drive and this guy has a two terabyte hard drive. Could it be that the lack of a hard drive extra unit, whatever I'm saying, is allowing this guy to use more power? There's definitely something different going on. What I'd love to know is which one is actually performing faster in these tests because we're getting a gigahertz score. But what I don't know is which one's actually hitting it faster. And we're going to find out in the next update. As soon as, right now we've got four races around the tracks. Five races around the tracks. Ah, look at that. So this one hit the fifth test faster than this one hit the fifth test. So I was looking at five, test number five. And this one went to test number five, and on this screen it was actually test number four. So even though this guy was was boosting faster than the i9, this one's actually completing the jobs faster. So it's not just about monitoring your Intel Power Gadget because that just gives you a sense of the overall speeds. You actually got to see the performance itself. So I'm going to look for one more racetrack, and as soon as it hits test six, that's going to be that we're, we're going to finish the race. We're on the last lap right now. The alarm's going off. The referees come out. We're gonna be doing this together. So I'm looking, I'm looking for test number six over here. This one's still locked in at three gigahertz. It's using 36 watts of power. This one's using 39 watts of power and it's using three gigahertz. So there's definitely a difference here in the power watts. So if you're interested in battery life, you're gonna be getting savings on the i9. All right, test number five. Test number five, we can do it. All right, does it tell you how long it's been taking? Um, no, it doesn't tell you how long it's been. So we're gonna have to do this visually. So as soon as, as soon as this one hits test number six, I'm gonna sh look at this one straight away, and we're gonna be, you're gonna record that it's on test number six. We're gonna jump to this screen and see how much longer this one hits the test number six. Obviously, if this one already has test number six, then we know that they're neck and neck. So I'm just staring at the screen. Come on, let's join the screen. Let's see what's going on. So again, a nice solid flat line. That is crazy. A nice solid flat line. Okay, let's see. Should be coming up soon. All right, test number six. Let's go. This side, this side. See, still on test number five. So how many seconds is it gonna take? All right, there you go. Nine seconds. There you go. So throughout this experience, we've been seeing the i7 turbo faster than the i9, consume more power than the i9, but the i9 has actually been completing the tasks quicker. That is, uh, that is an interesting result. So all you fellas out there that are just looking at that Intel Power Gadget just saying, oh, the i7 is going faster and all this kind of nonsense. Oh, maybe my PJs. Go. Vamos. Arriba, Dorchi. How are you going? Come back. Oh you don't enjoy it? It's a race. It's a race. Look out for my toes. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, you lose. You win. But you cost five hundred extra dollars, so maybe this one's you know. It's, a, it's, oh, yeah, it's, it's, it's an extra, extra. Baby, it's an extra. Just, just one minute, can't that's like two percent. Yeah. But just get like, this one. This one makes you save said money. If you compile it and you can. All right. This is the i7 plugged into an external monitor. We want to see is this going to change the, the plates? Because now we're going to be using the graphics card, the advanced. Well, I don't know.